Welcome to the Endeavor Software, Software Project Management Demonstration. For this session I'll be demonstrating uh, very generally how easy it is to create a project, an iteration. I'll be creating two software artifacts, which in this case it will be a use case and a defect. And I'll be assigning those artifacts to the iteration. So let's just get started. Let's go to the Projects module. Let's hit New and create, uh, let's assume for, for a moment that we're creating a medical system. For testing purposes, let's use medical system as a description. Let's assume that this project is going to be one year long, so that'll take us all the way to December to 10. I've gone too far already, December to 10, there it is, December 6 to 10, and let's put, let's assign some members to this project, let's assign the administrator, let's assign a uh, developer and a project manager, manager. Let's hit save, so now we have a project, now uh, let's create an iteration for this project. Let's go to the iterations module, let's hit new, and just for testing purposes use iteration 1. Let's assume, as you can see, since this iteration belongs to this project, and, this pro and the project is a year long, well, um, it has already uh, defined, it has already filled up the start and end date with a year long range. So in this case, we don't want it to be a year long range, let's assume that we just want it to be um, a month long, so that will take us back to January 2010, January 6, 2010, uh, we don't have any use cases or defects assigned to this iteration, let's hit save, and there we have an iteration, let's go to project plan to see how we're we doing, as we can see we have the, the, the project and we have a one iteration the project is one year long and the iteration is a month long. Okay, now the next step will be to create a use case, but before creating a use case, uh, let's uh, identify a few a few actors. So let's go to actors. Uh, for a medical system, the fir first actor that comes to my mind is a doctor. Let's use doctor as description. Let's another actor will be a nurse. Another actor, actor will be a patient. Okay, now we have we have actors defined, so we can go to use cases, to the use cases module. Let's hit new, and let's assume I don't know. Let's create a use case called register patient. As we can see, also the um, the start date and end date have been pre-filled with a year with a, the same range as the project. Let's just leave it like that for now. Let's uh, use the same name as description. This use case will be of type business case, business use case, and uh, let's leave preconditions and post conditions empty. Let's go and define a few events. Let's create an event, something like nurse enters patient name uh, another event, something like nurse enters patient insurance and let's create an extension for nurse enters patient insurance we have selected it let's click new and uh, something like uh, patient insurance invalid system displays warning message so as we can see we have two events in the main success scenario and we have one extension for the uh, event uh, number two Actors, well, let's just assign nurse and patient and let's click save. 
Let's go back and see it. If we go to print preview, we'll be able to see how the use case is looking. So this is exactly how it'll look if we if we were about to print it. Now let's go and create a defect. Uh, let's create something like uh, logging error. Let's leave the start and end dates empty. And in the description something like um, like uh, name is misspelled misspelled <laughs> name is misspelled in the login screen stakeholders let's add rsmith as, as a developer and let's save it ok so now we have a use case and we have a, def a defect let's go back to iterations let's double click on the iteration let's go and we can simply assign the use case register patient to this iteration by drag dragging and dropping it and the defect just by dragging and dropping it let's click save now we can go back to the defect let's search for it and we can see that this defect now it has the same range as the iteration which is a, year a month long and the use case it's also the same has uh, the same the same range now let's finally let's go to, to the project plan let's click ex expand all and we can see that we have now an iteration a use case and a defect from here we can go to the project uh, project project schedule we can see the Gantt chart or we could go to the print preview and we could see the print version of it so that's all for this quick demonstration I'll be showing in great detail um, the other software artifacts. So I, I'll, I'll be going back on great detail in, o in other videos on how to create projects and, uh, and on the details of the projects, iterations, project plan, and all the software artifacts that Endeavor covers. Thank you very much.